$19.99, 40% off. Decent for Hobby Lobby. And this one did not have holes in it, so I had to make some my own. I'm using the uh, Folk Art chalk paint from Hobby Lobby. Cottage White is the color. And I put a thin coat of paint on there because I'm going to distress it after this. After you get that all on there, then you're gonna let it dry. And it dries for about 15, 20 minutes. After it's dried, I'm gonna take the um, Folk Art chalk paint in rich black and dab my chip brush in it. And then I'm just going to go around the edges and just distress the edges. Make it look old and worn. And then before I um, do anything else, I'm going to take the paint that's left on the paintbrush. And I'm going to go across the front there to um, give it the age distressed look. Make it look like it's all worn and beat up. I like that style. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Just stick with the paint. And then while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and get my stencil from my Cricut. I cut this with uh, permanent vinyl I got off of Amazon. And it cuts pretty well and weaves decent. And it was a pretty cheap price. Got a bunch of different colors. So once you get that weeded, um, I'm going to use this clear contact paper as a transfer paper. Smooth that down with your squeegee all over. Make sure you get it good and adhered to it. Get all those spots there. And once you got all those, then we're going to tape it down to our surface where we want it to be. Make sure you get it where you want it because this is the final step before we take it off. And go ahead and pull off the transfer paper with your vinyl. Make sure and collect all the little bits and parts. Be careful in weeding it. Sometimes it gets stuck. Or I mean pulling the transfer paper up. It gets stuck and then you lose something. You don't want to lose a dot to an eye or something. Go ahead and smooth that down. And then you can take the tape off and do the same thing on the other side. I find it easier to use the tape. That way it holds your, your design in place. All right, so now we're going to pull off that transfer paper or that contact paper that I used. Making sure to leave all the little bits and pieces there that we want to keep. And then we're going to get out the matte Mod Podge and a chip brush. And we're going to add a thin coat of Mod Podge onto the top of the vinyl. Um, that's going to fill in all the creases and areas. That way um, your paint doesn't bleed through and you get nice, clean, crisp lines. Alright, so we're going to do the black first after uh, my Mod Podge dries. So I will have to tape off um, some of the areas that I'm not going to paint right away. And um, that way I don't get the paint in areas I don't want it. So all the areas that I'm gonna paint black, I'm gonna leave those exposed. Um, the letters, the tires, I think that was it. So I'll just mark off everything else with the masking tape, get out my chalk paint, and my dabber brush or sponge 
And you're gonna go ahead and just uh, dab the paint right across that vinyl where you have the letters and the tires, the places you want that black color to be. I like doing these multi-layered colored ones, but they are more time consuming. All right, once you got that done, let that dry. And then we're gonna peel the ones off of the tires, the tape. I'm gonna put it up there near the tire because I'm going to paint the truck next. So just mark off everything you don't want to paint with a, I'm doing sage. And it's also a chalk paint from Hobby Lobby, the folk art. So you go ahead and dab that all over the truck. I have also covered up the pumpkin because I didn't want to get any paint on that yet. I wasn't in love with this color. I felt like it was more gray than green um, with the sage. But uh, this one here, um, after your sage dries for the truck, we can go ahead and move on to the pumpkin. Um, that is jack-o'-lantern colored acrylic paint. I'm going to mix it with some white chalk paint to kind of dull the color down a little bit. That way it's not so bright. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint that um, pumpkin. Give that a nice coat of paint. And then for the tires, I was trying to do like a silver and a black. That way the tires didn't look so new. Um, but I ended up mixing up too much black, so I had to add more silver. And then the green for the top of the pumpkin. And then after everything is painted and dried, go ahead and pull that vinyl off of there. Just be careful that you don't rip it. I try to pull a little slow, that way I don't pull anything off of it. And then weed out all your little sections, the windows, the stripes on the pumpkins, inside the letters. I actually, in this video, I don't know if anybody will notice, but I missed um, a part of the E that I didn't catch until later. All right, so we're gonna almost done here. We're gonna go with a coat of Mod Podge here on the top, just to protect the surface. That way the paint doesn't chip off. Once that dries, I cut a piece of uh, black twine to 17 inches, and I'm gonna feed it through there and tie a knot at the end for the hanging part. And then um, flip it over on the other side and pull that up. Then you got a hanging, hanging part for it. And then I made a bow for mine. Um, I did not add the tutorial for this. If you would like one, I can add um, a video for that. Then you just kind of place it where you would like it. And the Mod Podge wouldn't stick uh, where I had it with the hot glue so I had to take a little sander and sand a little spot there so my glue would stick but I added some uh, glittery twigs in there um, and then some more glue for the hot glue for my bow and then you stick your bow down and then you just move it around how you would like it and we are all done it's ready to hang up look at that look how pretty that is don't forget to like and subscribe so I can bring more videos to you.